The country's top transportation and aviation leaders met today to assess the safety of American air travel. This meeting is because of several close calls on airport runways across the country. Yeah, leaders are trying to figure out if there are significant failures happening at airports and on planes. NBC's Alice Barr reports. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff plans. A call to action today following an uptick in close calls involving commercial flights, bringing aviation leaders together for a rare safety summit. These recent incidents must serve as a wake-up call for every single one of us. The times of Airbus A330 experienced extreme turbulence. From severe turbulence causing injuries. No, no, do not hit him again. To unruly passenger incidents, to more than half a dozen near collisions on runways this year, including one just last week here at Reagan National Airport outside Washington. Oh, you're not 2003. Scan the takeoff clearance now. Reporting takeoff, reporting takeoff, United 2003. The safety issues rattling some air travelers. It's scary. Um, there have been some really close calls, and the fact that they're all just happening in the last couple of weeks, couple of months, is concerning. And prompting a hard look. The biggest mistake we can make as an industry is to become complacent. While industry experts say flying is still extremely safe, representatives from airlines, airports, and unions today talking about risk factors, from increased air traffic to technology to staffing shortages, especially among air traffic controllers. We are uh, 1,200 certified professional controllers less now than we were 10 years ago. The FAA says it's on pace to hire 1,500 controllers this year, 1,800 next year as the people responsible for keeping millions of travelers safe in the skies work to make the systems that protect them even stronger. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.